Now shall we begin with a trip around the world. Let's do it. Uh, seven minutes, probably fine. I both want to increase and decrease the timer. Um, because, you know, sometimes you really want to get it down. Pinpoint perfection. And then you usually need a little bit more time. But it's also kind of uh, annoying if it takes too long. So I think we maybe 7.30? <laughs> sure, let's do that. Seems perfect. Uh, when this? Oh, I'm not allowed to move. Hmm. Uh, I forgot to change those. Uh, okay, well, let's um, let's do this. Uh, hello, level one. Yesterday's stream was one of your best ones. Yes, thank you. The complete silence. That's pretty good. Uh, all right, so I forgot to change the settings from last week's last thing. So this is what we get. We are not allowed to move. We're not allowed to zoom. We're not allowed to pan. We say when this, we do see Route 287, or Interstate 287, uh, to the left. So, potentially, in the United States somewhere. Might as well go through with this one. Uh, might not spend a super long time here. I kind of like this mode, but maybe with the panning and zooming, it would be slightly more interesting, I think. This is kind of cool, though. Um, I guess when this are in most states, North Carolina, yeah, not bad. What do we know about the streets here without Googling and stuff like that? Anyone have a good uh, knowledge of uh, roads in the states? North Carolina, I, I, I can see that being a thing. Maybe we can find 287 actually. Pretty good looking windows. Yeah, it's a nice looking restaurant. It, although, it looks very much like a, um, probably a Burger King here in Sweden. They've kind of started doing all restaurants having the same design. So every single newly made Burger King restaurant that you enter, it has the very same design, the building. Sizes, rooms, tables, it's all the same. And I especially notice this, I mean, I'm not frequenting Burger Kings, really, I haven't eaten there in years, but when I was working in construction, we were putting down um, epoxy floors. We did do it for a lot of kitchens for uh, these type of restaurants, and it was so weird just traveling to different cities, uh, basically being in the same type of building over and over. Very strange feeling. Uh, South Carolina, 287. Hmm. It might not be impossible actually locating 280. Okay. 278. Might not be far off, but we might as well also be 378. Okay. Haven't been in Burger King since 2004. Okay, that, that might be a little bit longer ago uh, than me. I used to eat a lot of burgers at both McDonald's and Burger King and other places. Then I kind of changed my diet and I haven't really eaten burgers in a long time. All right, so... Okay, we actually got the numbers here as well. That's pretty good. Might actually be able to get kind of closer if we we're willing to do the detective work. 287, we got 280 here. 278 again. If I can just flip these numbers around, we would be pretty close. And we can't get any further out than that. Uh, I gotta say, it's a 287. Here we go. Okay. We are getting really good information here. We do have the road number. And we have a Wendy, so if we can just pinpoint that, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's see how 287 moves around here. It does continue through here. I'm putting a marker down for now. We could be in Dallas. Uh, let's see, we are facing north, so the road should be going 
west to east, right? And we are in a city. I think we're in Dallas. Does that make sense? Does it look Dallasy? Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to find where the 287 okay leaves out through this side. Well, it's kind of hard to t okay, here we go. Here we go. I think that's exactly where we are. I don't think we're going to get any closer. Let's do it. Well. Damn roads being way too long. So we were in, well, Denver, Boulder. Looks like these cities have, uh, well, that might be an area. There is a place called Boulder as well, right? Boulder, Colorado. Don't know if that's its own city or if it's actually just a part of that. All right. Well, that was pretty close. Um, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a building. We are driving on the maybe the left side of the road. This could also be a one-way street. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell, right? We are in a city at least, that's all we can tell. Can't really see anything uh, of the sun. It's an Audi. And this might be the Google car, right? Maybe not actually. Doesn't really make sense. The reflection would be. Yeah, that's probably a car to the left of our screen here. Uh, we do have something here. Carré Michelet.com. Carré Michelet. That sounds French sounding. Usually they were. Its own cities until the bigger cities follow them and turn them into a suburb. Yeah, that's probably what it was, right? Uh, I'm thinking some French-speaking place, maybe Canada? Carré Michelet. Michael... Europe, you say? Mm. Yeah, looking at the street signs, maybe. We can see a... I don't know what this is. Either it's a new U-turn or it's something. I can't tell if that's a vehicle or if it's a U-turn. might be a U-turn. All right, let's go with France somewhere. Um, this text right here might not mean anything. That might not be as good of a hint as we might think. Nancy? Is that it? Hmm... I think we're in Dijon. That's my gut feeling. All right. Paris. It's always Paris. Why wouldn't I just go with Paris? Uh, but yeah, that's a good call that is in Europe at least. So that's pretty decent score actually for... Um... So I wonder if the score multiplier is different since we are just locked into place because I feel like this should not give 4,171 points. So I think the more stuff you're allowed to do, the harsher your um, penalty will be for being further away. I think that's how it works. I should just put down Paris. It's always Paris. Except for one time when it was Nancy. So yeah. Pretty good, though. That's a cool, some cool balconies here. Don't see any flags or anything like this. Uh, I am thinking... Africa, right? This seems almost a little bit... Um, 
Arabic in design. So I'm thinking northern parts of Africa, if anything. Colombia. Hmm. I don't think so. Unless you see something I'm not seeing. I'm going by the blurred out car plate. Oh, okay, in the previous one. Okay, I see. Well, I'm still thinking... Putting it right here in between all of these countries. Well, it was northern parts-ish, but it was way further to the west. All the way out on the freaking coast, eh? Dakar. Alright. Well, some of these have 235 points. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go. Mm-hmm. We're getting easier and easier stuff here. Um... Obviously, I know all plants here, what type they are, so we can kind of pinpoint precisely here. Uh, the, this is a tree, for instance. See, I know that. And these are uh, maybe some type of grass. And then we got some bushes. Yes. Is that an old broom? Okay, so witches live nearby. Someone has been drunk, forgotten the broom out on the stairs. <laughs> Seems like Colombia was the uh, same distance away. Yep. Um, yeah, this is... This is something. It seems almost a little bit tropical. Just a little bit. What do we know about the sun? The shadows are coming from the northwest. So the sun is in the north, actually. So we should be in the southern hemisphere. I think. South America somewhere? Putting it in the middle of uh, everything here. Let's go. Japan. And we were not in the Southern Hemisphere. What? I have been debated by the sun. That usually doesn't happen. Hmm. Zero points. Alright, let's go in for the last one here. Yep. Also easy. We got some berries on the tree, maybe. All these leaves, apples, nuts, something like that. Once again, I would like to say that the sun is over here, directly north, but that might not be the case. Because I, this looks very much northern hemisphere ish to me. Europe, maybe. Yeah, kind of flat. Maybe England. Denmark? It was England. <laughs> it was actually England. All right. Decent score, though. All right. Uh, that one was... Uh, hmm. Yeah, those are pretty hard. And... At least the last one, we probably wouldn't have gotten any more information if we were actually turning around. So, I don't know how viable those are. Uh, I've actually seen videos of people getting insanely good scores from the no movement, the no panning, the no zooming. But I think those guys have played a lot of GeoGuessr and they kind of even recognize streets and stuff like that by just randomly ending up on a sort of street, so that's kind of insane. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this one was pretty good. Which one was that? Oh, that was a France one. Which I should have just gone for Paris and we would have gotten full score, I think. Uh, but alright. <laughs>